That is so much farther than I've ever thrown that disc before. Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I've been out throwing in the field for like 30 minutes now, just working on my backhand. And I actually think I just unlocked realistically like 25 to 45 feet of distance on the backhand almost instantly. And I did it only by changing my grip. So the grip that I've historically used on my backhand, just so you can recreate it and feel the difference, I learned this actually from overthrow disc golf. I would line the disc up between these two fingers, grab it like that, and then I would just go ahead and swoop my finger around, make it comfortable, and that's kind of the grip, four fingers with the thumb out just like that. What I have been doing since I came out here, I just sort of figured it out on my own, and I feel like this has to be a real thing. So if you do this, let me know. Instead of doing like in between these two fingers, just turn the disc literally like flat. So instead of having the disc at an angle, just grab it like just barbarian style, like manhandle the disc. It feels horrendous in the hand, but I've already thrown several shots. Like, I mean, gotta be pushing like 50 to 60 feet further than I've ever thrown before. It's coming out of my hand so much faster with this barbarian grip. I don't know. It's coming out of my hand so fast. Uh, I have a bunch of trash drivers out here right now because I did like a special bag for a video. So I've got Photons, I've got a Latitude 64 Blitz, a Villain, and then a Strive. Um, the Strive actually has real distance potential. It's probably my best driver. But I'm telling you, if you've never tried this, give it a try. Instead of lining the disc up here, line it up here. I feel like I have so much more of my hand just on the disc, in contact with the disc, it's going to feel terrible. Just like any time you try anything new, it's not gonna feel good. Just give it a whirl and let me know in the comments below how it goes for you. I mean, that's my photon. And that is really far. If you guys watch my videos out here, I have never come close to clearing that golf green with a backhand, and I just did it with a photon. I'm telling you, I just, I don't know, something, something, I feel so much more torquey out of the hand. Like the disc is ripping out of my hand like never before. We got another photon here. Let's see if we can't replicate. Oh, that's gone. We got a strive here. So I'm, I'm literally just not here, but here and just manhandling the disc. It's, I mean, it feels so bad. But when it comes out, it just comes out so good. Ooh, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That's absolutely freaking spanked. All right, I have one more driver here. I got the villain here. It's supposed to be stable, but I have decided since I've been out here that it is a bit flippy. All right, let's get a little excited on this one. Yep. Come on, villain. So that's at least two throws, probably three that cleared that tee box on the other side. Those are the farthest backhands I've ever thrown in my life from here. And the only thing I changed was switching from this vertical grip and then finger over to just putting the disc straight, just literally just grabbing it like that and just smacking on it. I don't know what made me decide to think to do that, but literally the second I did it, I was throwing so much farther. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I think I'm onto something, particularly with distance drivers. This is something that I'm going to continue to work on. Love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Does anyone else grip the disc like that? I feel like not all power grips are created equal. And I realized that for myself today. So go try it, come back, let me know how it went. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.